Hi guys, my name is Kyle August and I'm here to help you manifest your specific person in the quickest and easiest possible way. This is the secret to manifesting your specific person quickly, easily, effortlessly, and it actually came to me in a dream last night. So to start off, we all know without a doubt, signs always follow, they never proceed. Meaning that once you assume the state, you will then see the signs following that assumption after the fact. You are never going to get that beforehand. I'll make it make a lot more sense and I'll tell you kind of what this information was kind of given to me in a dream. I think it's going to be very helpful to you. But the idea is we first always get into the state and then we see the outcome. It's never reversed. But sometimes we can accidentally reverse it in our minds and think, okay, I'll do, I'll feel happy and fulfilled with my specific person once they show up in that way. I'll feel this love, feel this positivity, feel or mentally put myself in the end once my specific person asks me out on a date or does this or that, it shows me attention. But remember, that is acting in the literal opposite of what we want to do. And here's the metaphor that's going to, this is the thing that came to me in my dream and it's gonna help you out tremendously. So imagine you have a friend, okay? And your friend is actually, they decided to create a apple orchard, okay? They want to grow their own apple orchard, right? And they're talking about this all day, all night, all week. And they said, okay, in a couple weeks, I'm actually gonna plant the seeds for this apple orchard. And you're like, oh, that's great, you're fantastic. You're thinking about all the apples you're gonna make from that apple orchard once they obviously plant the seeds and then allow all of the trees to grow. And let's say time passes, uh, three weeks go by. Remember, they're supposed to plant it in two weeks, three weeks go by, and you go to check on um, how they're doing with their apple orchard. Obviously, all the seeds are planted, everything should be going, and you don't see any of the seeds planted. There's bags of seeds off to the side. Uh, the field isn't tilled, there's no there's no soil being laid, nothing's going on. And you so you, you go find your friend and you're like, hey, what's happening? I thought you were going to plant the seeds, right? Because you want that apple orchard. So you obviously have to plant the seeds to get that to go. And your friend says, well, I was thinking about it. And I don't want to plant an apple orchard if the trees produce nasty tasting apples. So as soon as I can taste an apple off of one of those trees and make sure it tastes good, then I'll plant my seeds and I'll make my apple orchard. And what would Think about how you would react to that statement. Initially, you would be confused, right? What that that does not make sense. How could you eat an apple off of an apple tree that you didn't grow yet, right? That's your first thought. You'd be so confused, it would be so bizarre, it would make absolutely no sense. And you would attempt to explain this um to your friend, and you'd be like, Well, yeah, but I don't want to. I don't want to plant seeds to apple trees that I don't like the taste of the apples, right? But as much as you tried to talk to them, maybe you maybe convince them of this. Um, but think about that metaphor. This person, your friend in this instance who wants this apple orchard, doesn't want to begin because they want to make sure that the apples will taste good. So they won't begin until they eat the apples. But this is actually, and if you haven't, figured it out yet. This is how a lot of us approach manifestation. We won't get into the state, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, until we see our external reality show it to us, right? We're in the state of waiting for our specific person to show up in the ways that we want. We're waiting for our specific person to ask us out on a date. We're waiting for our specific person to call us before getting that internal feeling state of the wish fulfilled. And I know on the onset, it sounds like, oh yeah, of course you're going to wait for that. But it's just as bizarre to do that as the farmer, your friend did, is waiting to plant the seeds until he could taste an apple. There is literally no difference. And the funny thing is, because after I had a dream about this, and then after that fact, I started to realize this has way more significance um, than it already does. There is actually nothing in your reality you expect to receive before mentally putting yourself in that state. In this way, in the, the apple orchard example, 
the same idea actually comes. Imagine going up to your fridge and opening it up and your friend says, what are you doing? You're like, as soon as I see groceries in here, as soon as I see a full fridge, I'm going to go to the grocery store. You'd be like, that's bizarre. That's crazy. If you saw your friend do that, you'd be like, that makes absolutely no sense. Or if you sat there looking at your bank account saying, as soon as my work pays me for the next year, I'll go to work, right? When you start to think about it, it doesn't make any sense, but we actually begin to utilize this once we start a manifestation, right? We're thinking, oh, as soon as this happens, as soon as that happens, I'll allow myself to get into that feeling state. But just like I mentioned at the very beginning, signs always follow, they never proceed. You must assume the state, then you see your specific person show up in the way that you want. You go to the grocery store, you receive the groceries, you go to work, you get the money. Obviously, um, you can do all these things just by mental thought alone. It's about getting in the state. Those are just examples to kind of connect it to something in your external reality. But it's funny because like I mentioned, we do this absolutely all the time when it comes to our manifestation. Like I would say every single person who's ever had any instance of manifesting a specific person, manifesting wealth, manifesting their perfect house, manifesting a perfect family, whatever it is, you have definitely probably fallen into this trap of thinking, oh, I'll feel that way once that happens. I will feel this way once my specific person shows up. But it it gets reversed. And I would like to go back to the example of your friend who is the apple orchard farmer. Imagine if you truly, if I said you can plant the seeds. If this was like a true honest thing, you were thinking about the apple orchard. Imagine thinking I will plant the seeds once I'm able to taste an apple. How would you feel attempting to accomplish that, right? It would would be just like looking into a mirror and attempting to change your reflection and your image by going into the mirror. Imagine the frustration, the anger, the the confusion that you would have really trying to find a way to taste the apple before planting the seed, right? But think about it in that way. This is the same thing that gets reiterated when we attempt to, again, manifest by only feeling into the state once we see our external reality show up in that way. We get frustration. We get resentment. We get confusion because Everything in your external reality is a reflection of what you are thinking and feeling consciously. So this person, imagine again the apple orchard idea. They're conscious of not owning an apple orchard because they're only in reaction to their external reality in the same way that we will then be conscious of being single if we're constantly in reaction to our external reality. If your entire emotion, if your entire consciousness is literally built upon what you are seeing outside of you, this is a mechanism by your subconscious mind to repeat and keep you in the same state. Think about it. And like I always mention, this idea actually works to our benefit when you're with your specific person. But before that point, it doesn't hold any, it doesn't do us any good, right? It's going to keep us in that same less than positive state. Um, And the idea is because let's say we're conscious of being single and we're like, as soon as our specific person shows up for us in the way we want, we will then feel as if it's already done. But your consciousness is of being single. So your reflection in your external reality will be you being single and your specific person not showing up in the way that you want. But if we switch that, but again, you see, hopefully you're seeing the cycle going on here where you're conscious of something. If you're in waiting of your external reality to show it to you, it won't and it can't because your consciousness is reflecting being single. So your specific person can't show up. So again, I keep doing this with my hand, but it's a cycle because you're in reaction to your external reality, but your external reality is only in reflection of what your conscious of being. So it reiterates what you already are. And that's if we are in reaction to our external reality. But the same is going to go. It's going to help us out when you're in that perfect state, when you are in the feeling of the wish fulfilled because your reality will then reflect exactly what will support your idea. And that's how it gets into an easy and effortless state because what you're conscious of being gets reflected 
then your specific person acts in the ways that you want. That then gets reflected back and it's more support to feel how you're feeling. And like I mentioned, this will be very good when you see your specific person showing up in the ways that you want because you will allow that external reality to support your beliefs. But before that point, I want to make sure that you're not you're not attempting to grow an apple orchard by trying to eat the apples first. Um, hopefully that makes a lot of sense. It's again, it's something I was like, I just had a dream about and I was like, I this makes too much sense. I have to tell everyone, um, but hopefully you get a lot of um, value out of that. If you have any questions about this, leave it in the comment section below. Uh, check out my website, KyleAugustCoaching.com if you want to send me a personal question, comment, or you want to sign up for one-on-one -on -one coaching. Also check out my TikTok, Manifestation Man. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you guys really liked it. Um, I really liked this idea when I first um, kind of thought of it. Um, but make sure to subscribe if you guys want to continue getting all this amazing content. Um, I want to help you guys manifest your specific person in the quickest and easiest way possible. Uh, but with that, like I always say, I'll see you guys next time.